Over the last recent months, we've had a lot of things happen in uh, Colorado Springs and in the uh, Front Range. We've had hailstorms, we've had windstorms, and those have led to some issues where we have uh, repairs that are needed in our, on our homes and that can create um, issues with collection of carbon monoxide in our homes if they're not done correctly by licensed and insured contractors that pull the appropriate permits. We almost had a complete loss of life because of a bee vent being disconnected. There was a deaf family that could not hear their alarm go off and the roofer had come in and he had um, caused a problem with their vent, their bee vent, and what had happened was uh, carbon monoxide collected in the house they could not hear the alarm because they were deaf. Um, a family member came home and realized that their family was comatose and near death. Fire department was called and we got them the appropriate help. We got them to the emergency. We got that we were able to uh, reverse the effects of CO. Had they not had that family member come home, um, they might have succumbed to carbon monoxide, all from a roofing repair. The B vent is the vent that directly connects uh, at the appliance, whether that be the draft hood of the water heater, furnace, whatever the case may be, and exits through the roof of the building to the exterior. The B vent is the only way that that fuel-fired appliance has the ability to exhaust CO to the outdoors instead of leaving it in the house. The B vent is made up of a number of sections of pipe, whether there be connection elbows, and then at the very top on the exterior of the home, you'll have a bee vent cap, which is basically a rain guard and a way to make sure that that CO and the exhaust is taken to the outdoors. When the shingles are being removed by the roofing contractor, if they get too close with the pitchfork, it can cause the vent to become disconnected underneath the, sh the roof itself. So that's one of the biggest issues we've seen is the disconnected vent just under the roof because they were a little too rough with it, or the cap itself, which was possibly reinstalled by the roofing contractor, was pushed too far down, or the hailstorm beat the cap down itself. This is the draft hood right here, connected to the fuel-fired water heater. This is the easiest spot for homeowners to come and look. If this, because of the re-roof or any other work, has been dislodged, disconnected, is no longer sitting over the appliance, that can create a life safety issue. You could end up with an issue where you don't exhaust carbon monoxide out of your home, which is a product of combustion from your heater, your water heater, and your gas range. And when those things are being used, if they're not used or if things aren't in place correctly, then you can have a life-threatening um, life emergency. We see it at its worst. We see it when people are either um, near death or clinging to life. Uh, but keep in mind, this goes farther than just re-roofing permits. If you've had someone come in and replace your water heater or your fuel-fired appliance, whether that be a range, whether that be a fuel-fired furnace. Some of that work will require a permit, not necessarily changing out a range, but if you have a new furnace installed, a new water heater installed, you wanna make sure that that contractor is licensed or registered with the regional building department and inspections will be performed. The biggest reason for the permit to be in place, and, and this is great information for homeowners, is this ensures that the contractor you're working with not only is licensed with our department, but has the proper insurance to do the work on your property. Therefore, if an accident occurs, your home is covered. You're covered by that contractor's insurance. It also means that they have registered or licensed with us, have a track record with us, and know the inspection process. That way they can get the inspections requested in in a timely manner. Therefore, our inspectors can make it as quickly as possible to the property and do the inspections.